I am so excited to be back with another video and this one is so exciting because I have been waiting for this feature for nearly forever it feels. I'm sure that if you've been working in Canva you have been feeling the same way. Canva has finally implemented a layers panel which is huge. I am so pumped about it. If you have never worked with layers before, don't worry. I'm gonna go over everything step by step. It's going to be super easy to follow and your designing is going to get so much easier, so much faster just by using this layers panel. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, so we're in Canva now. I think the best way to show you guys how to use the layers panel is simply by loading in a template that's got a lot of layers. So I'm gonna go to create a design and I'm gonna choose my good old custom size of 3600 by 3600 pixels. It's just what I usually design in, so it makes sense. And then we are going to pick a template from down there. So I'm gonna scroll and see if I can find something that just looks like it has a good amount of layers so that we can really play around. So I like how this one has the shadows. This one has some shadowing. Okay, I think this one here is going to be a really good experiment for everybody. Since it's using a template with images, like the kind where you can put inside, I'll show you, double click, and you can see how you can move this. I think that's gonna look pretty cool on the layers panel, so we're gonna check that out. All right, so here you have a design, and issue with not having the layers panel is basically that when you go to select something, sometimes you end up selecting the wrong thing. So let's say you wanna select this uh, background, and you can't quite grab where it says homelessness, and it's like, it, it's just frustrating, or you keep grabbing this one, you keep grabbing the wrong thing etc 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 and it's just a, a huge pain in the ass honestly you're gonna go up to where it says position and that is one critique I have I wish it just said layers panel once you select your canvas you'll see that all the layers populate over here on the left hand side you could select each one one by one and it makes it a lot easier to grab them so that you're not accidentally grabbing the wrong thing every single time it also makes it to where you don't have to lock all the layers so that you don't end up moving them, which to me is probably the best part. When you click on a layer, you're gonna get these three dots in the corner here on each layer, and it'll show the different options for the layer. You'll see that when you click it, you get copy, copy style, paste, delete, comment, and lock background. When you go to a layer that's above the background, so the second, third, fourth, etc., layer, you're going to have more options. And in these options, you have the same options that you had before, except now you can duplicate, you can pick where on the layer, you can bring it forward, you can bring it backward, you can bring it all over the place. You can align to the page, you can add a link, you can lock alternative text, all the things. And the same thing goes for the rest of them. Now, personally, this is how I prefer to use the layers panel. You can use the three little dots and you can go to layer and then you can click bring forward, bring to front, etc. But I like to just move it manually. I don't know if that's a preference, but I think it's a little bit easier. All you have to do is you see how you have this little hand right here. All you have to do is click and drag. So whenever you want the layer to change its position, you can manually move it now. All you have to do is say, you want to move this text towards the back. You just scroll it down and you can see it move while you're moving it. And it'll reshift it to wherever you wanna put it. Now currently you can tell in the layers panel that it's showing all the overlapping layers. But if you wanna see all of your layers, which is really where I prefer to hang out because I wanna see all my layers all the time, you just click all and every single layer that you have will be on there. If you have anything grouped, you'll see that by looking right here, you have this like little group icon and it'll say that it's grouped. You can either right click it and populate that, that menu that pops up or you can click the three dots. Either way, same menu. So let's go ahead and make a few changes together and see what we can do. To get out of the layers panel, all you have to do is click on the gray area and we're out of the layers panel. If you wanna go back into the layers panel, again, just click position. Let's say that I wanted to change the background. Instead of having to select the background and hope that I got the right thing, 
In the Layers panel, all you have to do is select the background. Go to a Colors, go to your color palette, and choose a new color. Simple as that. To get back to the Layers panel, again, all you do is click Position. Let's say that I don't want this text here anymore. All I have to do is select it and click delete on my keyboard. You can right click and delete as well. Maybe this text isn't what I'm looking for and I want different text, but I'm having a hard time selecting because I keep accidentally selecting the background or something else. All you have to do is select the text that you want to edit over here in the layers panel. It will automatically highlight around in the purple. From there, all you have to do is double click on it on the canvas and now you can adjust that text. So let's just type hello because I don't know what else I want to type. And let's just do that and control C and control V all the way. Kind of giving the same look that we had before. All right, perfect. So now we want to change the color. All you have to do is go up to your text, change the color, change all, and there we go. So now we have that adjusted. If you wanna move the box, instead of affecting the text, you can see when you have your mouse up here, it's gonna show you a cursor. What we want is the directional arrows like this. So if you just go over to the edge of the design, you'll be able to move it wherever you want. Okay, now let's say we want it towards the background. All we have to do is grab it from the layers panel and bring it down. Let's say we want to adjust the transparency on this now. We just select it just like we have been doing in the layers panel and we'll go over to the three dots just like we would normally grab the transparency slider and slide it down. There we go. All right, next we want to adjust this photo here. Now we have photos inside of a photo frame so we want to double click this after we have already selected it and we've got it highlighted we're going to double click it and we're going to delete these pictures same over here we're going to double click and delete those pictures they were not in the layers panel anymore and to go back there like i said before click position i do sometimes wish that you could keep it up like Maybe have like a dock where you could move it and you could see it all the time. That's just how I prefer to design. But of course, I'm thinking as in like design programs like Adobe Illustrator, Affinity Designer, etc. All right, so let's go ahead and change this text as well. And we are, let's go ahead and change the next text. And we're going to select this one up here. And we're going to change it to, we're just going to do hello there, friend. Perfect. And we're gonna make it a little bigger, move it over. Now we're selecting the image and we're gonna pick some new images to go inside it. Now you can do this a few different ways. You can grab something from your uploads or you can go to elements and find something there. I'm gonna go ahead and go to elements and just find something over there. I'm gonna choose some sort of floral. And after I type in floral, I'm just gonna click on photos. And I'm just going to scroll down until I see a photo that I like. I like this one right here. And all you have to do is grab it and slide it over. Once you hover over the image where it wants to go, it kind of automatically snaps in place. And you can adjust what it looks like by double clicking and moving it just like that. Super simple. So let's say I want some more yellowy right there. I'm just going to go like that. Now I'm going to pick another one. This time we're just going to select it and the image is gonna populate. Let's go over to our layers panel and see what that looks like. So now we see that one image is inside our template and the other image is on top because it's on top like a layer. Whenever you're working in layers, if you're brand new to layers, just think of layers like pieces of paper, okay? and you're just layering on top of each one. Try to visualize it, and I think that will help you a great deal when you are designing. Now to add that flower portrait inside the image, all we need to do is make sure that we select it just like we are, grab it over here on your canvas, and wiggle it around until it's right where you want it to go. Again, if we wanna change where the direction of the image is, the flowers, all the things, you can change it like this. You can move it around like this. 
just get it to wherever you'd like it to go. So something that you should be familiar with by now is when you put an image into Canva, it automatically starts pulling those colors for you and it puts it in the color palette for you. Something I love about layers is that it's already implemented in there. So I've added that picture onto our canvas again. And what you'll notice is when you select this image right here, the one where we are inside of a template and you right click, you don't have any other options. But if you just have the image and you right click or hit the three dots, you're going to get either replace background or apply colors to page. And this is so cool to me. Once you apply the colors to the page, it's going to take those colors from that image and put them in your design. That is such a cool feature that I absolutely love. And I love that you can do it right from the layers panel. So I have grabbed a brand new design real quick, just so we can go over that color feature again and how awesome and quick it can be to create new designs really fast and easy. Let's go ahead and go to position layers panel and you see all these different elements on here. These are all the different layers that we have in this image and the colors look cool, but what if you want something a little different? So we can go over to elements and let's say you're looking for more of a retro vibe. So retro background, we'll just type that in and see what happens. Perfect. All right, so let's look for one that we love. I love this one already, so let's select it. Now we're back in our layers panel and what we can do is we can just right click and apply colors. And now I can go ahead and just delete this image and now we have a design that has been created completely with that in mind. So let's say that we wanna use this as the background now. All we have to do is select it, three dots, and replace background. Now, if we wanted to change the colors to go better with the theme that we now have in the background, all we have to do is right click and click apply colors to page. Awesome. Now, obviously you could see, well, you can't really see very well, but it is color coordinated. Now we just select the background again, go up to transparency and bring it down. There you go. So now you have a completely new design and it was so quick to do that. I love that feature of the layers panel. Well, that's it guys. That's the layers panel in Canva. It's so easy and so awesome to finally have it. Thank you so much Canva for finally giving us a layers panel that we have been asking for. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up as it helps me get seen on YouTube. This algorithm is a little bit tricky. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you are notified every single time I make a video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.